Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. Today I'm going to be doing a clearing of the chakra on the back of the neck known as the Alta Major or Alta Major, depending on what part of the world you're from. We can actually absorb and take a lot of energy, not necessarily good, so it's, um, it's a good habit or practice to get into clearing that, cleansing that often with the rest of your body and your chakras. And also, if you've ever noticed, sometimes if you're in an uncomfortable situation, you're around somebody, something just doesn't feel right, and you know you start to get kind of fidgety and you're scratching, and then all of a sudden you're like, for some reason, you just put your hand back there and feel like you have to protect your neck for some reason or rub it and that's your and your subconscious mind is alert to something going on back there and I didn't know this for many years especially when I was dealing with entities and things like that but sometimes I would be around people and I would just feel so uncomfortable like I would feel my body pulling itself in and I would always put my hand back there to cover so let's start with, I'm going to be using sage and rose, I'm going to be using sage and rose because they're both very powerful um, energetic plant medicine. I've already charged up my hands and activated symbols. I'm also going to be using my I'm also using my amethyst crystal and I'm actually just going to put a little spray on that as well. Okay. So I'm just going to start back here just doing some circling around the back of your neck. Just relax and settle in calm. allowing your attention to go there and focus and also notice any other um, just becoming sensorily aware of any other issues in the body that might feel uncomfortable and with your mind just pull that up out of the body into the back of the neck or to the back of the neck and I will pull all of that out Breathing naturally, slowly, or it could be a focused breathing. It's up to you if you want to do some breath exercises while I'm doing this. Just clearing all of that out. This should feel really good. Soothing, calming, balancing. And now also, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work in the face and the head area. I haven't done any energy facials in a while, and this goes very well with working on that chakra also. So now I'm just going to sweep around the top of your head, calming the mind, releasing any chatter, Sometimes we get stuck in looping chatter. So working all around that area, coming down to the front, working on your eye area, also calming. You know, what have you, oh, sorry about that. I just saw a giant pair of wings fly by the window. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Anyway, sorry, um, working around those eyes releasing any traumas or anxiety um, have you been cautious about what you've been watching or sometimes we can just see things that we don't plan on unexpected and just relaxing massaging those eyes and the socket again also working back into the brain and also working on that third eye just stimulating that helping you to feel more connected <clears throat> And moving out to the ears, what have you been listening to? What have you heard? Things that are true, things that are not true, things that might not feel well. And just kind of pulling, releasing that out. 
through the ears, releasing that out through your eyes. And now working down to the mouth and the throat chakra. What have you been speaking about yourself, about others? Are you speaking your truth? Are you not gossiping? Are you not telling anything that you don't know to be true? Sometimes we become fearful and we start spreading that fear, not necessarily intentionally. I've noticed that with my neighbor lately. I've had to really pay attention. Every time I talk to him lately, he just seems very disturbed and panicked. There has been some strange things going on in the neighborhood here, but um, he's just become kind of an alarmist and he didn't used to be that way and he has kind of a strange look in his eye. So I suspect something is going on back there. He probably needs his cleared out as well. So again, just being cautious what you listen to, what you speak out into the world because he doesn't know for a fact what he's been telling me, if it's true, we don't know there's stuff that's going on, but you know, the culprit is elusive, so we don't have all the details yet with what's going on. So just clearing out through throat chakra, working up the head again, and now I'm just gonna go back and do a little bit more in the back of the neck. Just take a breath in and out. I'm just gonna work down the body too. We don't wanna just work the head and you know, have an uneven balance. So just also working down the body, the aura, the luminous network. I'm just going to add a little more spray. <clears throat> just fortifying your energy field with Reiki. Expanding, balancing. And now I'm just going to place my hands on both sides of your head for a few minutes. Sort of an energy massage. Again, this should all feel really good. Top of the head and back of the head, a nice massage. Take a breath in. Let's do that two more times. One more time. Uh, in. Okay, I'm just going to start closing out and sealing up the session. Give you a little light language activation as well for protection. Hashanihi ni hanahana ua akatae ushanti ni atae kiatae shtutaha. And just imagine these symbols, almost like a tattoo, but an energetic, energetic symbol down the back of your neck. You could even write it down if you want and put it where you can see it or. You know, just kind of hold your hands up to the camera and you can also use that and massage the back of your neck. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you were able to enjoy the work to receive all the benefits. Thank you so much for your continued love and support for this channel, um, for all the amazing comments, the gifts, the donations, um, the, re the personal requests for sessions and also thank you to those of you there's been a lot of new people that have questions 
um, and some of you reach out to them and help them and give them information. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate that as well. Until my next video, there is so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.